So make sure you guys go subscribe. The link is in the description and in the pinned comment. We're both going to be talking about certain topics that are not allowed on YouTube on my Patreon. So make sure you guys go check that out. So anyways, before I get into Marilyn Monroe and Britney Spears, I want to explain this whole Dean the Great is DDG situation. So Divine made a video called Dean the Great is DDG. Make sure you guys go check that out. And Dean the Great actually responded right away. Within like two or three hours, he seen the video and he commented. And he said, LMFAO, I didn't even know how I seen this, but you should be a comedian for sure. And clearly he knows exactly why he's seen this, you know, because he just got exposed. And it's obvious because he commented this when the video only had 400 views. And to prove to you guys that it's the official account, you guys can go look at the video yourself and look at the comments and click on his page. And you will see that it's his official account with 172k subs. And he also reacted to her video on his Instagram story, so I'm gonna play that for you guys right now. I think every artist I've ever looked at, DDG has the most symbolism on his Instagram. It's kind of crazy, like it's truly crazy. So um, Dean also does the symbolism. Dean's Instagram is filled with symbolism too. Always throwing up the devil horns, you know. So. <laughs> Bro, y'all listen to this. Yeah, one eye symbolism. He's doing a lot of symbolism. This guy, I remember when I seen Moonwalk on the Calabasas, I was just like, even his outfit, nice, he got invited to Polo's G's, I guess, video party thing, posted up, they doing double horns. <laughs> So if you guys notice, they always make it into a joke and they always try to downplay what we're saying. So in his caption, he kept putting Devin horns or double horns, but clearly she said devil horns. But anyways, as you guys know, if you've been watching my channel for a long time, you guys should know that every time a celebrity responds to me, they always make it into a joke and they have to do that because that way people won't take it serious. You know, because in our videos, we're being completely serious that these people are playing these other people. So if they make it a joke, you know, their fans won't think that it's serious and they won't really care about it. Because they know that if everybody wakes up to the fact that they're playing a role, you know, they'll wake up to the fact that this whole world is a stage and that it's all a show. You know, that's the point of our videos, to really just wake you up to the fact that all of this is a show and all of these celebrities are actors in the show and all of us are the audience watching the show. I went deeper into that topic with my Kid Cudi video on my second channel, so if you guys want to hear me break that down more go watch that video but anyways back to marilyn monroe and britney spears so divine shade has four videos on marilyn monroe playing the role of britney spears and her first video that she dropped about it was on june 15 2021 and i know for a fact that britney responded and she's doing damage control right now because this was the first video she made about it and it dropped on june 15 and keep in mind during this time nobody was talking about britney spears she wasn't on the news at all and she was completely irrelevant when we were researching for this video and when she dropped this video. But seven days after she drops this video, Britney Spears is all over the news. Like, it was the weirdest shit ever. You know, it's clear that Britney saw her video and they had to do damage control right away. Because nobody else has made a video called Marilyn Monroe is Britney Spears until Divine Shade made a video on it. And it turns out that this was a deeper topic than we realized. And literally a week after that video... All of this damage control with Britney is all over the news and the media. So here's evidence that it all started on June 22nd. You know, this is one article. This is another article right here. And then here's a third article. And you guys can go look at it for yourself. So this could just be a coincidence that a week after she exposes her, you know, she's all over the news. But I don't believe in coincidences personally. So to me, that's damage control. And if you guys notice, every time I expose a celebrity... They're all over the news. Next thing you know, they're everywhere. So, for example, when I exposed Michael Jackson, nobody was really talking about him, and now he's everywhere. Like, you know, there's so many videos that I make, and all of a sudden, that celebrity is everywhere. So just keep paying attention to the pattern, and you guys will notice the damage control. And they do that to flood the search algorithm. That way, our videos don't pop up. And a perfect example of this was the Shock G situation. So if you guys remember, I made a video called Shock G is Pooh Shiesty. And nobody was talking about Shogji at all. He was completely irrelevant. Like, there was zero videos about him during that time. And my video got 50,000 views. So when you search up Shogji, my video was number one on the search. So the only way they could do damage control is to fake his death. To get people to make hundreds and thousands of videos on Shogji. And it would flood the search algorithm and my video is no longer there. 
So now when you search up Shock G, my video is no longer there. Because back then, before he faked his death, you know, he was completely irrelevant. So when you searched up Shock G, my video was number one right there. So they always do damage control and put that celebrity all over the media to try to hide our video. But anyways, back to this video. So this was the first video that Divine made on Marilyn Monroe and Britney Spears. And you can clearly see by this thumbnail that they're the same person. But we'll get to that later on. So this is the second video. I'm going to link all these videos in the description below. And this is the third video. And then after she made those videos, I noticed that Britney started posting a lot of sneak disses. So right here she said, can't see the haters when I've got my love glasses on. And then she posted this and it says, while you're talking behind my back, feel free to bend down and kiss my ass. And then right here she said, take me as I am or kiss my ass. So she's clearly just doing sneak disses to Divine because, you know, it's not a coincidence that she starts posting stuff like that right after she gets exposed. And then Divine also made a video exposing her sister because her sister was also in the news after that. And this video is called Jamie Lynn Spears is Carrie Underwood. So go check that video out because they're the exact same person. And I noticed a funny coincidence with Jamie Lynn because her middle name is Lynn, right? And when you look at Marilyn, she also has Lynn in her name. So that could just be a coincidence, but you're going to see throughout this video that there's a thousand coincidences and, you know, the chances of that are impossible. So the next coincidence is that Brittany and Marilyn are both seven letters and Spears and Monroe are both six letters. So in total, both of their names are 13 letters and they always use the number 13. But, you know, let me know if you guys think that's a reach or a coincidence. What are the chances that not only do they look alike, but both of their first names are seven letters and both of their last names are six letters. And then here's a really good comparison right here. You know, I literally get them mixed up. Sometimes I think the one on the left is Brittany and the one on the right is Marilyn. But it's the other way around. You know, they look exactly the same. And another coincidence, and this should confirm it for everybody. So Marilyn's middle name is Jean and Brittany's middle name is Jean. You know, do you guys think that's a coincidence? Like, you guys are going to see the pattern throughout this whole video of just a million coincidences. And Divine Shade has four other videos on this with more coincidences. So the only difference is that Marilyn's has an E at the end and Brittany's doesn't. But it's basically the same exact thing. Alright, so the number one thing that people are going to say to try to debunk this is the age, right? Because Marilyn was supposedly born on June 1st, 1926 which is a lie, and she faked her death on August 4th, 1962. So first thing I want to point out is that what are the chances that she's born in 26 and dies in 62? All you have to do is flip the 6 and the 2 and it's the same number. And like I said in my little Snoop video that a lot of celebrities like to fake their death around their birthday. So she faked her death two months after her birthday. And now let's get into the scripting of her death because it was completely scripted. You know, I'm going to break down why her age was a lie. Because Marilyn is actually younger than we thought. And Brittany is way older than we think. So I'll break that down after this. So first, let's break down this whole scripted death. Because there is so many numbers with this. So Marilyn equals 38. This is a big pattern that you're going to see with a lot of death fakers. That their name usually equals 38 or 83. So Marilyn is 38 just like death, killing. And then Marilyn and death both equal 97 in the same cipher. And then Marilyn and Killing both equal 43 in the same cipher. And then Marilyn Monroe and Britney Spears don't have any matching numbers. But I did notice that if you really look at the numbers, each one just has one different number. So Marilyn Monroe is 172 and Britney Spears is 171. So all they did was just add another number. And then Marilyn Monroe is 73 and Britney is 63. All they did was go up one number with a 6 and you get 7. And then Marilyn Monroe is 179 and Britney Spears is 180. You know, if you add 1 to 179, you get 180. And then Marilyn is 71 and Britney is 81. So if you add 1 to 7, you get 8. So that could just be a coincidence, you know, because the numbers don't align. But it is kind of weird that they're only one digit apart. All right, so something weird that I noticed with Marilyn's death is that nobody really knows the exact day she died because... A lot of websites contradict each other. So according to Wikipedia, she died on August 4. And according to this website, she died on August 5th. So I couldn't figure out which was the exact date. 
And a lot of times when they keep having different dates, that means she faked her death. And then another coincidence is that Marilyn died in L.A. You know, she was born and died in L.A. And she had a house in L.A. So isn't it funny that Brittany has a house in L.A. right now? And she lives there right now. You know, it says Brittany Spears purchased a Beverly Hills villa located in a gated community. So she lives in this house right now in L.A. You know, what are the chances of that? And then Marilyn supposedly died over a barbiturate overdose. And when you type in barbiturate and Britney Spears and Gematria, you get the exact same numbers. So Britney Spears and barbiturate are both 81 and 180 in the same ciphers. And then Britney and barbiturate are 63 and 45. They both had the numerology of 9 because 6 plus 3 is 9 and then 4 plus 5 is 9. And then you get 171 and 117. All you have to do is flip the 17 around and you get 71. So I don't know exactly what this proves, but I feel like they're going to fake Britney's death because Marilyn Monroe is super old right now. So pretty soon she's going to die and she's playing Britney right now. And you can tell that this is Marilyn because Britney looks extremely old. So according to Wikipedia, Marilyn was born in 1926. So that means she would be like 90 right now. But that's some bullshit. She is not 90. In reality, she was probably born in like 1945 or 1950. And they lied about her age. You know, Marilyn was way younger than they said she was. They said she died at 36, but she looked like 20 years old, if not younger than that. You know, they use a lot of kid actors in these situations. And if you look at Britney, she's supposed to be 39, you guys. Does this look like a 39-year-old to you? She's clearly pushing 70 or 80. She looks extremely old. Like, this looks nothing like a 39-year-old. And another thing that I want to say to prove this point even further, because there's going to be a lot of idiots that say that the age doesn't add up and that they're not the same person. But if you really think about it, Lil Uzi just changed his fucking birthday. Like, I want you guys to really think about this. Lil Uzi came out and said that he found his birth certificate and he's actually one year younger than he thought he was. And he didn't even have to show proof or anything, and they already changed it on Wikipedia. So that proves that you can literally change your birthday on Wikipedia, and everybody will believe it. You know, he didn't even have to show his birth certificate for proof. All he did was say in a tweet that he found it, and that it turns out he's turning 26, not 27. And I'll make another video on that, because he did that to get an extra year, because he's most likely going to fake his death at 27. But that situation should prove to you guys that Wikipedia is lying about celebrities' ages and birthdays and heights. All of that is fake. Google is owned by the people that are lying to us, so obviously they're not going to tell us the truth about everything. But all you really have to do to know that Britney is old is just really look at her fucking pictures. Like, look at how old she is. This is actually ridiculous. She is so fucking old. I don't care what nobody says. Like, this looks like a grandma. Like, this really looks like somebody's great-grandma. And it looks like she has an Adam's apple right here because she's actually a man. And her shoulders are way too broad to be a woman's. So this is really somebody's grandma if you really look at her. She even has those marks that the old people get. So she is not 39. I don't care what nobody says. She is at least 80 or like 75. And to prove this even further, if you really look at her Instagram, she's always posting old stuff. You know, she posts a lot of black and white stuff. Because when Marilyn was around, you know, they didn't really have color, I guess. So a lot of her pictures were in black and white. And then in her caption, she said, My favorite new baby blue bathing suit I wore in Maui from Target. P.S. I'm going to turn 40 this year. And as Debbie says in This Is 40, I'm not ready to shop at old lady stores. Well, you already are because you're so fucking old. Like, I just really want you guys to look at this. Like, this, am I crazy or something? Or is this an old lady? Like... Just be straight up in the comments. Like, this is so fucking old. Like, it's actually ridiculous. And it's hard to hide the fact that you're so old, you know. I don't care how much makeup she wears. She's still going to look old. And also, if you notice, Dua Lipa commented on this post. And Dua Lipa never comments on Britney's post. So I find it funny that she commented that right after Divine exposed her for being James Charles. So make sure you guys go check that video out. And I'll probably end up making a video about this myself later on. But I have so many videos I want to make right now. But I'll put a link to this video in the description below so you guys can go check it out. 
But anyways, back to Brittany and Marilyn Monroe. So this picture right here should be all the proof you need. If you really look at this, they have the exact same eyes. You know, the eyes never lie. They have the exact same eye shape and everything. The exact same nose, you know, the face structure, the smile, the teeth, the lips, everything is the same. You know, you really can't tell them apart right here. You know, these two pictures are half of Marilyn and half of Brittany. And then this is probably going to be the thumbnail for my video because they look exactly the same right here. The only difference is that Marilyn looks like she has a lot more makeup on. But everything else is exactly the same. And this is probably a fake mole right here. It's very easy to have fake moles. You know, girls do it all the time. And if it is real, they probably just removed it when she became Britney. But yeah, if you really look at them, they have the exact same smile and everything. It's actually very easy to see. You know, here's some more comparisons right here. And then somebody photoshopped a picture of Brittany and Marilyn Monroe. And they have the exact same face. And then here's another agenda that Marilyn actually pushed a lot. She pushed that agenda of a skinny white girl being the face of how women should look. She spread that whole agenda and that was bad because most women are not that skinny. You know, the reason she was that skinny is because she's a man. So they had a man to promote this agenda to all the young women out there so that they can feel bad for not being this skinny. And it's a long story. You know, my girlfriend actually broke it down in her video about Marilyn. So make sure you guys go check that out. And as you guys can see on the picture on the right, you know, girls are way more insecure about their weight now. And it's because Marilyn promoted that whole false agenda that pretty girls are supposed to be skinny. But that's actually a lie. I'll make more videos about inverts later on. But another thing I noticed is that there's a whole article on Britney and Marilyn Monroe. It says, sometimes you want to go old school. Britney Spears morphs into her idol Marilyn Monroe with platinum hair. They both have pale blonde hair and Jean as middle names. Not to mention emotionally troubled past. Britney Spears proved that her adoration for her idol Marilyn Monroe goes way beyond those three little facts in a new Instagram post. So something else I just remembered is that Marilyn was actually really close to JFK. And I will be exposing him very soon too. Because he also faked his death. And he's playing another role right now. And he's super old too. He's about to die too. So pretty soon, I feel like they're either going to fake Britney's death or get somebody else to play her because Marilyn is getting way too old and it's becoming very obvious as you guys just seen with those pictures I've shown you. And then this is the rest of the article. You guys can go check this out. There's literally an article about how Britney Spears looks like Marilyn Monroe and it's a big thing from a big website. I think this was from New York Post. But anyways, back to the comparisons. So... There's a million comparisons of them all over the internet. All you guys have to do is type in Marilyn Monroe and Britney Spears. And you're going to see so many comparisons. So here's another blog that I found that says similarities between Britney and Marilyn. And then number two is one of the most known phrases of Marilyn about the struggling life as an actress in Hollywood was. I used to think as I looked in the Hollywood night. There must be thousands of girls sitting alone like me dreaming of becoming a movie star. But I'm not going to worry about them. I'm dreaming the hardest. Britney said that she used to watch Madonna and dream about performing at a stage. At a billboard presentation of her in 1999. They put a little girl impersonating Britney as a child. And dreaming about being there. So if you really think about that. You know that proves even further that Britney was not a real person. Because a lot of people are going to try to say. You know we saw Britney growing up as a kid and stuff like that. And all those videos of Britney as a kid were actually a kid impersonating Britney as a child. So that's what they do. You know, they get these kids to impersonate them so that you can see those videos and think, oh, yeah, she was a real person. You know, here there's videos of her when she's a kid and this is how she looks now. But in reality, that was just a different actor. And when she got older, you know, they got Marilyn to play her. So it's very simple when you think about it, but people try to overcomplicate things and try to debunk things, but it's not that hard to process. Honestly, the problem with this is a lot of people are attached to Britney and Marilyn, you know, mostly Britney right now, especially with this whole court case going on and free Britney, you know, all of that is bullshit. How are you going to be 39 pushing 40, 
you know, supposedly she's actually 80. But how are you going to be 40 years old and your dad is controlling your entire life? Like, it makes zero sense. And it's crazy that even a lot of fake woke pages are trying to defend Britney, that she's being held against her will or something. And there's even a whole community of free Britney people that try to dissect every single post she makes as if she's trying to give hints and signs that she's a slave in the industry and stuff like that, which they are slaves in the industry, but, you know, she's not trying to be free. You know, she loves what she does and she loves deceiving us. And why are you even trying to defend a celebrity in the first place? But that's another discussion for another video. You know, back to the coincidences. So right here, as you guys can see, they both have a Hollywood star and you guys can read this for yourself, but basically this is saying that a lot of people describe Britney and Marilyn the same way as they're both very hard workers when they're actors. So now back to the comparisons. This is clearly the exact same person and there's even a video comparing them. So I'm going to play that for you guys right now. All right, so that's pretty much it for the video. Now I just have like 20 more comparisons because like I said, there's over a million comparisons of them. And this is a really good one right here. You can clearly see that they have the same lips, the same teeth, the same eyes, everything. You know, Marilyn just wore a lot of makeup back in the day. But yeah, you know, there's a lot of comparisons. It's actually crazy. You know, they do the same poses in their pictures. And right here again, you guys can see it again. Um, here's another Photoshop of half of Marilyn and half of Britney. Right here, somebody said, when I found out how similar they are in these pictures, I was like, how can two people be this similar? You know, they even pose the exact same way right here. They have the same laugh and the same smile. They both have a photo shoot on a couch and they're both wearing a black dress. And right here, they both have a picture in black and white staring out the window. And right here, they're both sticking out their tongue the exact same way. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. Um, last thing I want to say is that Marilyn and Brittany are both the exact same height. You know, they're listed as one inch apart, but you know, they can easily lie about that as I just explained. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys for all the support. Make sure you guys go subscribe to my Patreon. Me and Divine Shade are going to be posting a lot of videos on there. The link to her channel and my Patreon is in the description below. So make sure you guys go support her channel and the Patreon.